Halloween etiquette. Now celebrated around the world, the origins of Halloween are often associated with the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, which marked the end of summer and the harvest and the beginning of winter. If you're wondering why winter, it's still autumn. Remember the Celts lived in the northernmost parts of the world. It's cold there most of the year, but especially near this time, so their winter feels much longer. However, the perception of Halloween as a time when the veil between the living and the dead is lifted and ghosts wander the earth is more likely linked with the Christian festivals of All Saints and All Souls. In fact, Hallows is an archaic English word for saint, hence All Hallows Eve, the day before All Saints Day, which is November 1st. The popularity of Halloween in the UK has grown in recent times and it is now regarded as a chance to get together with friends and neighbors and indulge in some thoroughly spooky festivities. Stay till the very end to get all your facts about Halloween, get some tips on how to host it, give this a like to help others find this, subscribe and click the bell for more etiquette and modern manners. The legend of the jack-o'-lantern originated in Ireland, Stingy Jack, who double-crossed the devil and was condemned on his death to become an eternal wanderer, was given a burning coal in a carved out turnip and has since been wandering the world. In Ireland and Scotland, people began to make their own versions of Jack's lanterns by carving scary faces into turnips or potatoes and placing them in windows or near doors to frighten away stingy Jack and other wandering evil spirits. In England, large beets were used. Immigrants from these countries brought the tradition with them when they went to the US and they soon found that the native pumpkins make perfect jack-o'-lanterns. Here are some pumpkin carving tips. So choose a pumpkin with no bruises, a strong stem, and a flat bottom. Remove as much flesh as possible, an ice cream scoop can help to make it easier to pierce the skin. Sketch out your design on paper or the pumpkin first, then hold the pumpkin in your lap to carve it. Keep the cut edges fresh by coating them with Vaseline. Save the flesh to roast and use it in salads or soup or puree it for pumpkin pie. Roast pumpkin seeds in a hot oven for a tasty snack. I hope you like these, I hope these helped out and that you have a fun Halloween. Give this a like to help more people find this and subscribe and click the bell for more etiquette. You can also check out my links below for more related posts and how to host holidays and events. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later.